Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, home coach here at the Earthquake Forecast Center. QuakePrediction.com. It's 9 p.m. 9 p.m. on Thursday, March 17th, 2022. 9 p.m. Thursday, March 17th, 2022. Oh, yes. And happy St. Patrick's Day. All right. Let's take a look at the forecast around the world. First of all, we're going to review some of the earthquakes that have happened. Uh, around the world. We'll start with the Indonesia quake here near Java, the island of Java. This uh, right here is a 4.6 earthquake. And if you look at our forecast here, it happened right in here in the uh, very high risk area there of uh, Indonesia. So right on target. <clears throat> this quake here in Ecuador was a 4.2. And that hit in our high risk area as well, right in this area here in the 90% risk area. This uh, quake here in uh, near Okinawa is a 5.6 and a 5.2. 5.6 and a 5.2. And that was right here in the high risk area here as well. Was the risk is very high all across the, the Ryukyu Islands. They got that 5.6 and 5.2. All right, California, the risk is building in the far Northwest. So very high risk in the Northwest portion of California during the next uh, 36 to 48 hours. That risk extends down here to Northwest of LA, but most of the risk for the next uh, 36 hours or so is uh, up here in the Northwest where you get a 4.5 to 5.0 earthquake is possible up in the Northwest portion of California. Uh, we, we could get a 4.0 earthquake down here no, near Los Angeles, but the highest risk is in the far northwest. Alaska, the risk remains across the far northern portion of Alaska right now. In Greece, this very high risk area just west of Athens, Greece here, this could produce about a 5.5 earthquake, uh, possibly larger, but about a 5.5 earthquake just west of Athens, Greece. Uh, the 19th into the 20th. It could happen as soon as the 18th, most likely the 19th or 20th. In the Caribbean, we could get a 5.0 earthquake or larger in uh, the Haiti or Dominican Republic, Dominican Republic uh, the 18th through the 20th. And a 5.5 earthquake is possible in uh, the eastern portion of El Salvador or Nicaragua, Honduras here, this high risk area here. The 18th through the 20th. In Chile, we have a very high risk area which could produce a 5.0 earthquake from La Serena down to Santiago, Chile. And you can see the other forecast maps on uh, quakeprediction.com, we have all the forecast maps. Um, are all listed over there, but I can't put them all up here today, but you can go to quickprediction.com for that. The 18th and 19th here in Hawaii, we could get a 4.0 to 4.5 in Southern Hawaii on the island of Hilo. And uh, here's a very high risk uh, near Dubai in the far Southern portion of Iran here. And that was a 99% risk. And sure enough, we got that 5.8 and 4.5 down there. Now the risk is here uh, west of, uh, here's uh, Tehran up here. So it's kind of in this area here in West Central Iran, uh, right here. And this could produce a 5.5, even if possible 6.0, but about a 5.5 earthquake is possible there west of Tehran during the next 36 to 48 hours. In Italy, just kind of a moderate to high risk in the very far south portion of uh, Italy. And in Japan, we had this huge area of risk here in the uh, area up near uh, Sendai and northeast of Fukushima. And then we had that 7.3 earthquake uh, during this forecast period. And then the risk is shifted down near Shizuoka and Tokyo uh, for the 17th to the 18th. And then on the 19th, it moves offshore. And the 19th into the 20th, 
the risk is up here near uh, Akita and extends down to Fukushima and then offshore as well here. So 93% there. And a 4.0 to 4.5 is possible in that area. Um, New Zealand, this area near Wellington, New Zealand, is uh, we could get a 5.0 earthquake in that area. And then the risk shifts. Uh, you can see if a quick prediction.com, the risk will shift into the northeast portion of uh, New Zealand. I believe it's the 19th to the 21st. Peru, we mentioned that earlier, that forecast, but this is a serious situation here in uh, northern Peru from Lima. Lima, Peru to the north here, this area could get a 6.0 earthquake as possible. When you see this huge area of risk like this, uh, a 6.0 earthquake is uh, definitely possible during the next 36 to 48 hours. All right, we, get, we could get a 5.0 to 5.5 down near uh, in the southern portion of the Philippines. And you can see that's just uh, area near Davao, Philippines. And this looks like it's centered just east of Davao, but anywhere down in the southern portion of the Philippines could get a 5.0 to 5.5. Here's a look at the current situ situation across the world here. And uh, once again, in California, we're looking at a uh, 4.0 to 5.0 earthquake is likely in the Northwest and it extends down to San Francisco here, but most likely in the Northwest portion of California near uh, Petrolia and Eureka and Crescent City here in the Northwest, uh, 4.0 to 4.5 earthquake is likely in the Northwest during the next 36 to 48 hours. So um, thanks so much for stopping by today. We uh, have been doing this for 17 years of research and uh, special thanks to the 215,000 followers now on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. That's a lot of followers, 215,000 from around the world. Thank you very much to every one of you. and. Uh, Again, 17 years of research. We'll be back again tomorrow, give you an update on what's happened. And we'll keep you informed in regards to the earthquakes around the world. Thank you so much. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.